close your eyes. And take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And stay with the breath each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. If long breathing feels comfortable, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Try shorter breathing, more shallow. See what feels good for the body right now, what feels good for the mind. Because you wanted to build a home spot here, a place where you can settle in and feel at ease, feel secure. And if the breath doesn't feel comfortable, it just, it's going to be hard to feel secure here. So you take advantage of the fact that you can change the way you breathe and use that for the purpose of giving the mind a place to settle down. If the mind is going to hold on to anything, hold on to this. All too often we hold on to all the wrong things in life. This person said that, that person said this, this person thinks that, this, that person thinks this. If you hold on to that, you're holding on to smoke. All you know is that you think the person said that, or you think the person thinks this. Sometimes your memory is playing tricks on you, and sometimes your assumptions are, are wrong. And yet we can grab onto these things and make ourselves suffer, and when we do that, we make other people suffer too. So give the mind something reliable, reliable to hold on to. When the breath comes in, you know it's coming in. When it goes out, you know it's going out. And you can be the judge of whether it's comfortable or not. Your sense of what's comfortable will change, will develop over time. But that's something that's more dependable. As for the rest of the world, then you begin to realize there are a lot of things out there you can't control, and if you try to control them, you're going to go crazy and drive the other people around you crazy as well. So it's good to learn how to hold on to something valuable, hold on to something worthwhile, and let everything else go. Because if you try hold it, holding on to everything, you end up with nothing, nothing of any value. You've got to focus on just a few things that are really important. Putting your mind in good shape is of number one importance. So you try to hold on right here. That way when you have to let go of things, you can let, you can let go of the sense of security. You don't feel like you're being deprived of the control that you used to have. You begin to realize there was no control there at all to begin with. And a lot of your ideas about what was going on were based on assumptions. So you have a sense of security right here. So, you know, when you're letting go, you're letting go of things that don't really deserve to be held on to anyhow. That helps to straighten out a lot of problems in the mind right there. <laughs>